Welcome. So if you're coming from part two and suddenly a bunny appeared, it's because I can pull bunnies out of my hat. I didn't just squat and give birth to a bunny. If you're just joining me, squat might not be the best pose for you to start in. So I'm going to vote for kind of a wide-legged bent legged forward bend. This is part three of a, a long flow. So if you're not warm, you may want to take a moment or two to kind of wave the body around. A symmetrical pose like down dog, horse or chair, maybe a little bit of waving back and forth. Otherwise, let's walk the hands to the front of the mat. Step back to down dog. So softening the limbs, maybe you like that stretch in the front of the arms and the chest where you try to draw your chest towards your thighs, but if you can, bend the knees, roll the upper inner thighs towards the back wall. That should give you some space in your seats. You may not want to lift your tailbone too high, especially if you're hypermobile in your hemi-strings. And as you exhale, use the low belly, sort of ripple forward. The shoulders come a little closer to the wrists, as though you were going to go into plank, but then you changed your mind like a tenth of the way through. Pressing into all fingers, rolling upper inner arms, I should say. Yeah, rolling upper inner arms towards the sky. Now from here, we're going to take the really soft way to get to the front of the mat. Very non-linear, so don't be afraid to overdo the softness. When you bend your elbows, you want to bend them down towards the bunny. Okay? <clears throat> if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can look right here. So you bend into the bunny. Knees forward. Inhale, pause. Press into those finger bones. Exhale, right belly lift. So does your right knee. Take it to the sky. Inhale, straighten it out. As you exhale, bend back down into the bunny. Scoop your navel into your body. Step it forward with high hips. High lunge. Inhale, wave the spine. Exhale, bend and scissor those feet towards one another. Stack the vertebra. Inhale to the top. Exhale, one little fist of fire, reminding that your leg is bending because of that pulley behind your navel. Use that pulley to exhale, left knee either to the chest or maybe you step down to chair to pause and then bring it up. Inhale, exhale. You can do this in chair too, you don't have to be on one leg. Exhale, keep your low belly lifted. Inhale, lean forward, step it back. And then repeat the process, either stay here, fists of fire and lunge, or come up to chair or crane, as I call it. Inhale, a little Karate Kid action here. Exhale, maybe it's a little faster. Inhale. Inhale. One more time, inhale. Maybe that's it for you. Take it down to Utkatasana, big toe mounds together, inhale. Widen the hips, widen the seat, and breathe all the way down to the base of your belly. Exhale, squeeze inner thighs in, lift the base of your belly towards your heart, and then repeat. Inhale, open and spread things apart. Exhale, lift and extend. Inhale, maybe keep genie arms here. As you exhale, fold from your core, not from your upper back rounding, fold from your core. Now, if you've been doing parts one and two with me, your legs are probably a little bit ready to stretch. If not, please don't go max right off the bat. Inhale, wave the spine long. Take the weight into the front of your feet a little more. Breathe here for a little bit. Inhale, feel the pulsing of the body. When you inhale, ground your feet strong. Sit bones wide. Exhale, lift the muscles out of your pelvis up through the sides of your spine. Inhale, exhale. Cool. Test your fold. Bend your legs a lot if it's the beginning. I'm not kidding. Don't mean to sound like a drill surgeon, but I always tell people, and I've known this from my gymnastics days, if you don't warm up before you go into max range of motion, you cause damage, and you actually cause the muscles to tighten. They don't get any more flexible if you do that. So there. There's your little... Lesson for the day. Okay, inhale, wave the spine. 
Exhale, plant your hands, step or float to the back of your mat, avoid bunnies. Inhale, when you land, soften towards the earth. Exhale, wave, plank, chaturanga, diagonal. Inhale, pause. Exhale, zip the sides of your low spine. Rise up, breathe in at the top. Soften the elbows, but squeeze them in. Exhale, zip everything together. Inhale, here. Soften, exhale, left belly and knee rises up. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, scoop to the floor, hips high, knee into the chest, step it forward. Inhale, ground. Heart rises, exhale, scissor the inner thighs towards one another, start to rise. Inhale, exhale, one fist of fire, just to remind you how the back leg bends from behind here. Exhale, step to chair or come right to Karate Kid Crane. Inhale, sink the left sit bone back. Rather than letting the knee pop too far forward on the standing leg, on your next inhale, extend it back. Exhale, slow or fast. Maybe you never come to this point. Maybe you just step to chair every time. Maybe you only do one of these because you're still chipping away your balance. That's cool. Good. Inhale, the chair. Exhale, twist, so fire. Take your wood chopper hands to the right, but not your hips. Don't let your knees and your hips swivel to the right. Inhale. Chop. And inhale. Every time you exhale, try to swivel the belly to the side a little bit. So you're lifting, but you're also twisting the belly muscles. One more time. This time pause with regular, more prayer-oriented arms. Breathe. To the other side. Keep your knees flush. Exhale, fold hands down. Inhale, wave the spine, hands and shins, or maybe the floor. Exhale, step or hop back. Inhale, pause. Exhale, wave through a vinyasa if that's your thing. Remember, if you notice my shoulders don't go below the elbows, because I don't want to blow my shoulders out, which I did for a while. Then I fixed it, and now shoulder better. Inhale, bend towards the earth. Exhale, right belly lifts, right knee comes into the sky. And this time, open the hip. Check for your foot under your left armpit. Maybe it's there, maybe it's not. And then check your left leg. It probably misaligned a little. It's not bad for a second, but try to line up your left knee, left middle toe, and left hip crease to all be in a straight line. You may not feel as open, but that's okay. Lift your knee higher to the sky, and then try to kick your right heel to your left shoulder without locking out your left arm. So keep that engagement of, okay, Drawing the biceps towards my ears. Elbow creases reach forward. All right, inhale, straighten and square. Exhale, scoop, pelvis high, step it forward. Inhale, hip creases deep, heart open. Exhale, psh. And as you exhale, little with the left leg, cross either once or twice, eagle. Right arm over left. Maybe you hug yourself. That's okay. Maybe you eagle. Play with what happens when the shoulder blades come apart. You'll notice maybe a little stretch. And then when they come together, slide down and lift the elbows up. So if your tailbone is tucked in any way, you're going to have a hard time bringing the shoulder blades together. So keep that space in between the sit bone and tail bones, but always know that those inner thighs, especially in the exhale, are lifting, things lift, things expand. It's a natural order of things, expand and contract. Good, when you're ready, take your foot down or take your arms behind you, and then we'll all meet in a version of warrior three. Breathe in, little up dog sensation. Exhale, skewer the left inner thigh into the body, continue that wave of energy to the heart, and then inhale again, open the heart. Exhale, bend the standing leg, step it back. 
Come to a brief reverse warrior. Find some peacefulness here. Cradle your head in your hand or reach out. Take your left hand to your right inner thigh and encourage it to be open and to reach straight forward. When you're ready, soften it down towards the earth. Step back, down dog. Take a vinyasa if you choose. Inhale, pressing down, exhale, wave forward. Maybe you flip the feet, keep the shoulders lifted. Lift the belly, inhale. That inhale feels so very good <laughs> when you did so much on one exhale. But feel free to take a break in Chaturanga. I like to go down to my belly sometimes while the teacher's talking and take a few extra breaths. It's not cheating. Breathing's important. All right, inhale, soften <clears throat> the limbs, but draw everything in as you exhale. You're still drawing everything in. Left knee to sky. This time open it up. Now, listen, before you open, try to line up right hip crease, right knee and middle toes. See what that's like. Then maybe let them come out of alignment a little bit, just to get an extra stretch. And then as you exhale, Again, pelvic floor lifts, kind of suck it back in. Look under your armpit, maybe you see your foot, maybe you don't. Pretend like you can kick your left heel into your right shoulder. Don't let the right elbow walk out. Try to press into your fingers and inner palms. Breathe in here, straighten the leg. Finally, you say exhale, scoop and lift, step it forward, inhale, wave. Exhale, rise. As you exhale again, take the right foot forward, cross or double cross. Take a breath here. Remember, you're in a seat before your legs cross. And that's often not cued. So you're in a little bit of a chair before you cross. Left arm over right, give yourself a hug. Eagle, if you choose. Play with the shoulder blades rounding. Notice how the spine rounds too. Inhale, sink the hips. Curl the tail just a little. Let the shoulder blades come back, maybe elbows high. Find a breath here that is both expansive and then stabilizing. So when you inhale, you ground, press it down. And then when you exhale, you gather the energy in. Take another breath. Exhale, take the, hand, the foot down, <clears throat> maybe the hands down. If you can, hands to heart, find a little warrior three. Inhale, up dog. Take the left hip crease into the body a little. And then when you exhale, skewer the right inner thigh into the body, through the heart. Breathe. Exhale, bend standing legs. Step back. Heel down. Brief little peaceful warrior here. Do whatever you want with your arm. If you want, you can. As you exhale, sort of keep the back knee straight, but draw the low belly, and your front leg might straighten a little. It's okay. Then when you inhale, maybe you press it back down. Exhale, hands to the earth, step back. <clears throat> Downward dog. Now just for fun, we're gonna take the feet together. You can go through a vinyasa. It's not my thing at the moment. Inhale, elbows down, knees forward. Now from your Mula Bandha, you're gonna have a little puff here when you're ready, just keep breathing. And make sure you transfer your weight from your feet, inner thighs, pelvic floor, ribs, and into, it's going to transfer from your shoulder core to your hands. Your hands will be the last point of energy here. So think about your feet as gathering some energy. And then if you wave through the whole body, so you don't walk yourself out of your power, you should be able to get pretty high. Now, strength can also be an issue, so it's not like, you know, the one thing, once you figure it out, no matter your strength level, you're going to be able to kick high. All right, try this a few times. Inhale. Inhale. And then last time, come to the front of the mat. Inhale, wave the spine. Exhale, fold. Ah, foldy goodness. The foldy goodness is great. All right. So let's do this. Let's have some fun. Not that we're not already having fun. Step your left foot back. Take your right foot to the left side of your mat. Blocks might be your friend here. 
Let your back knee down, back foot however you like. Lift your front toes off the mat and then let your knee come up to the side. Chances are the pinky edge of your foot are going to start pressing into the mat, but not collapsing. This is an example of collapsing. This is an example of pressing. Let your knee come out wide. Maybe you lift up. But here's the thing. Don't just be hanging out in your hip sockets here. Hello, bunnies. Exhale, draw the belly in. Inhale, heart forward. You may actually have a leg that can come all the way down here. Not so much for me. If you want to use the breath in a more mindful way, you can inhale into the right sit bone so you could inflate it and press it back a little. And then when you exhale, the back inner thigh shortens a little bit into the body. So you have that little left side hip flexors and so as muscle, get a little engagement. All right, so from here, flip your back toes. It's going to be super fun. Hands down. See if you can snuggle your um, armpit or your arm in front of your shin. On an inhale, try to mimic a little bit of an up dog chest. Exhale, lift the belly and knee. Keep the right knee into the armpit. As you breathe in, soften a little bit. Let the neck get long. Exhale, bend it down, wave to the sky. Breathe in at the top. As you exhale, scoop in. Right knee to left elbow, core plank. Breathe in here. As you exhale, slowly drop the leg as you lift the low belly to protect your spine. Breathe when you come down. Ah, exhale, back up. Extend the leg if you can. If not, put the shin back down. And then pinky blade of your foot into the ground just like the pigeon we just did. So don't collapse it. Spin your back inner foot down. This could be it for you. Or you could inhale, draw a little energy into the arms, roll your inner elbows forward. Exhale, left arm to the sky, a little fallen triangle. If you want, you can exhale, draw the right knee into the chest. Maybe even grab the outer foot. Inner foot's okay. Maybe outer foot. Inhale here. Press into the back foot and then draw the right shoulder blade. Exhale, extend the leg from your body. I don't know what you want to do. Plenty of things to do here. But after this, you can take your right foot forward again. Inhale, wave the spine. This time from the floor, exhale, left leg comes up. Woo! Talk about way the gravy. Stretch the left leg for a moment here. Just for a moment to see where it's at. Take the foot back now into your left hand. Maybe you can grab with both hands. Notice that I'm not pitching my pelvis forward. I'm going to inhale, ground the standing leg. Pull the elbows back. Exhale, a little extension here. Good, take the foot down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, right leg over left. So this leg should be pretty darn ready now to stretch. So remember, you're seated in the chair. Okay, this foot is still flexed, so you're supporting yourself on the pinky edge of your foot. Take the hands down anywhere you can, even if that means hands are on your shin. Try to snake things down. If you need a little bit extra stretch here, inhale, sink the standing leg, wave the hips back a little. Exhale, rise from the pelvic floor out of the hips. Do that a couple of times. So it's like a little resist and release. When you inhale and you sink, the stretch gets more intense. When you exhale, you get a little release. If you can do flying pigeon, that's great. That's your thing. You can snuggle your left toes around, or sorry, your right toes around your left arm and start to lean forward. Just like we do in Chaturanga, same idea. And then you can come back or you can exhale. Jump back to down dog, open the leg. You take a vinyasa if you want. For me personally, I don't really feel like it right now. I'm gonna take my feet to the back of the mat. I'm gonna inhale, soften towards the earth. Exhale, wave, jump, inhale, exhale, fold. Breathe in one more time, inhale. And then exhale, step it back. All right. <clears throat> Take the left 
foot forward any way you can. Don't get too fancy about it. Squiggle the left foot to the right side of your mat. <clears throat> You're going to lift and flex the toes towards your chin and then let your knee come to the side. Again, support it. If it's not supported, you'll have this over stretching of the outer ankle. So you want to strengthen the outer ankle. It does tend to be weak, and that tends to be why we roll ankles or sprain ankles. Right, so here we go. This side of your sort of lunging pigeon might be a little bit more challenging. I know it is for me. The back knee is unnecessary, but it's there if you want it. Inhale, inflate the left sit bone. So it could balloon back and then exhale, a little drawing in here. More resist and release. And then push from here. You may take the foot down a little more. When you're ready, hands on blocks or floor. Maybe you're able to get your arm in front of your shin. As you inhale, draw the hands back towards you. Get a little up dog going. Exhale, belly and then leg. Try to keep the left knee into the arm and shoulder. Breathe in here, lengthen through the neck. Exhale, kick it back, inhale at the top. As you exhale, scoop everything down, left knee to right elbow or armpit. Inhale, exhale as you lift the belly, slowly descend the leg, breathe in. Exhale, scoop it back. Your choice, take it back down, inhale, or exhale to the side, using the outer edge of your foot strongly, not weakly. Turn your back toes so they face to the right. Inhale, exhale, rise up. Maybe this is it for you. Maybe this floats. I would exhale, draw it into the chest first. Grab the outer foot, but inner foot or the big toe is fine. Breathe. Never feels good. This is more stretchy. And if you can bend into the chest, have fun. Come back to a little lunginess. Inhale. Really draw that front heel back towards you. Exhale. Step right foot. Breathe. Pigeon. Step it down. Inhale. Exhale. Left side pigeon. So again, this left side is totally ready to go. If it's not ready for you, then don't worry because we are not all robots. We're not all made the same. If you can find the seat, great. Inhale. Seat. Especially that right hip crease. It wants to deepen a little more. That's a good thing. Exhale. <clears throat> and maybe you come down, hands on blocks. You can arm balance on blocks too if you feel steady. Nothing wrong with that. Curl those toes around your little right arm now. It's totally your choice. If you take it forward, you go a little <sighs> kick it back. Hello. Guess who's going to child's pose? Both of us. So that concludes your part three. Part four is going to come up and it's going to be pretty upper body, arm balance heavy. So be prepared. You may not want to do it today. You may be really looking forward to it. Just take a few moments in child's pose. Grab a drink, fix your hair, adjust your underwear, whatever you need. Just chill. <clears throat> 